Good evening and happy Saturday, wherever you may find yourself this evening. I'm back at you with some updates on the Melinda Davis case. Um, what I'm going to update you on, it's, I wouldn't say it's leaning towards conspiracy theories, but it's kind of up in the air where I'm not certain if it is what I think it is, or if it's just smoke, okay? Smoke and rings, I don't know. So, the mistress that recently came out and did the interview on Fox, she has been using um, many fake profiles on Facebook, but one of them um, is a profile with the name Anaya, and she was posting that she talked to Rex before the interview. because this woman, who also goes by the name Anaya, she sells um, toiletries and other items, and she will be meet people at this park. And it's distinct because the um, picnic tables are this um, metal green with the holes in it, okay? And the other thing that's distinct about it is, from the interview, you can see she's sitting at one of those tables, but it's underneath something that has like a white roof with um, these sides that come down like a lotus flower that's turned upside down. Well, if you go and you look on Google Earth, you can see that um, there's lots of these areas inside the park where you see exactly this. What do they call them? Pavilion areas. And it all matches up. The other thing that matches up is that um, she said on Facebook that she meets them near a location, near that grocery store. What is it called? H-E-B or H-E-D. I'm not from Texas. Well, I'm not from that area in Texas. So I'm not familiar with this grocery store. But right up the road um, is this store. Also, I don't know if she works at McDonald's or not. But she had the headset on as if she was uh, working a drive through And she had a McDonald's cup. So people are assuming she works at McDonald's. I don't know on that. But just to throw it out there, on the same road, kind of across the street from the grocery store that I mentioned, is a McDonald's. Okay, and this is all in the, the same location. What makes this interesting is that previously you guys have heard me discuss um, the man who posted on Facebook that the day before Darian's car was found in Missouri City, he saw that car at a car wash near Clay Road, and say it with me, Highway 6. This is the same area the mistress supposedly lives in. She's doing her business there, uh, selling her toiletries. She's meeting um, Fox News. So I do believe she either works or lives in the area or both. It seems a highly curious coincidence that this would be the same area that the car was seen the day before it was found. So if I didn't have this information, I would be saying right now, you know, I don't care about the mistress, whatever, she's irrelevant. But knowing that, I think she is relevant. And I think it's possible that she does have information that would help the case. Now, if you follow the interview, she says that she did not sit down with detectives. She canceled the interview because they threatened to arrest her because she has warrants out from other states. I don't know if that's true. That's what she's saying. So as far as I know, the only person that she's talked to is Quanell. I don't think she's actually sat down in person with the detectives. The only communication that she's had with them, I think, is over the phone or via text. All right. So anyways, look through the photos of the video. Um, pause it if you need to. Give me your thoughts and tell me what you guys think. Thanks for listening.